my talk is uh, JavaFX in the real world. I'm going to cite a, a few examples that I've worked on, uh, one of them being Stratus for Rally Software that they use for agile uh, planning and strategic planning. And uh, uh, I'm a Java and JavaFX developer, author, and speaker. I blog at javafexpert.com. I tweet there at uh, javafexpert, and there's my uh, email. I've written a few books on Java and JavaFX. My professional passion is bringing rich client Java back. I'll spare you the rant, but in 1995, I was pretty disappointed that we had kind of abandoned client server and everything, and we tried to shoehorn the web into being an application execution platform rather than the better reality, which would have been to have a ubiquitous JVM that was, uh, you know, where you could deploy applications, deploy the uh, JVM easily, and really have a nice extension uh, and multi-platform extension of, of, of rich client Java. And, uh, but we can get that back, and that's, that's one of the things that I see with, with, uh, with Java and JavaFX and some of the deployment technologies that have come on, uh, that have improved lately. So that's my passion, and um, um, I'm not gonna stop till it happens. So why use JavaFX? What is JavaFX? It's a set of uh, APIs for rich client, uh, uh, rich media, controls, graphics, has the whole scene graph thing, CSS skinnable controls. It now has a, a web browser component that's uh, it's a WebKit port doing HTML5. It's got property binding. Um, you can use uh, Java, you can use any DSL. Uh, we'll be showing you that it, it, it works with Groovy. You could use Scala, you could use Visage, which is Stephen Chin's open source continuation of, of the old JavaFX script. Uh, it's got hardware accelerated graphics. Uh, it has, um, you know, JavaFX uh, script had a declarative style as, as do many programming languages. So it has builder classes that I'll show you that, that extend that and, and allow you to participate in that kind of declarative style. So I think that JavaFX and improvements in the deployment technologies will enable rich client Java. So it's time for a question from the audience. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna put Arun on the spot. Just one question about JavaFX. What is it? I hate it. I love it. What? Arun. Is that how you pronounce your name, by the way? Oh, very good. Okay, what's your question? Why JavaFX? Oh, come on. I already answered that on that slide. You got to do better than that. Oh, what's, what's happening with JavaFX script? It's being abandoned. Uh, thrown away like old garbage. Uh, and uh, Stephen Shin is, um, is continuing that with the visage. So I've kind of already told you that too. You gotta do better than that. Come on, I expected more from you, Arun. Fine, whatever. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna show you Rally Stratus. And uh, this is one that I've been working on as a continuation of, of uh, Stephen's work. And um, uh, it's uh, an application that you invoke from a web page. Let's see, it's right, uh, right here. So you go to the Stratus homepage. You know, a lot of people, a lot of users get uncomfortable if it's not a web application. I don't want to install anything, I don't want to whatever, right? And so uh, the way that you invoke this is you go to the Stratus homepage, you click Launch Stratus, and then it web starts the Stratus application. So the user doesn't know they're outside of the web environment, but really what's happening is they're in this rich client Java environment. And uh, so some of the attributes, I won't uh, go into this a lot, but we have uh, a Kanban tab, we have a roadmap tab where we can see the different stories that are going into different, into different time boxes. Uh, we can plan stories into different teams. We can then go to a timeline view and see when they lay out on, those, uh, on a timeline. We can, uh, we can go ahead and change the start and stop dates um, of, the, of the different um, uh, features in the timeline. We can uh, go to the Analyze tab. We can see how um, we're stacking up as far as plan versus actual. Uh, here we can filter on timeline or time boxes so that we can see 
uh, comparisons for all the different time uh, boxes, and then we can uh, do configuration, that type of thing. So that's kind of an overview of, uh, of the application, just a rich client Java application, but uh, gaining from the benefit of Java FX. So back to the presentation. Talked about that, talked about that. We're gonna have a session, by the way, at 3.30 p.m. today that's gonna go more into the code behind what you're gonna see today. Uh, one of the things that you're gonna see is this trans transition example. In the session at 3.30, then, which I hope doesn't oppose uh, Aaron's <laughs> uh, session, is going to go through how you build a JavaFX application from the ground up, and it's gonna talk about um, uh, how to use the builder pattern, we're gonna get into a lot of code, et cetera. And um, so for example, this is the kind of code we'll get into, this is how you create a translate transition builder, or actually create a translate transition, which, is, um, which helps you create a transition that will animate something from one location to another. And uh, this example is actually located on the web. It's uh, in the form of an article that I wrote for uh, Oracle uh, OTN. And so you can see that um, here. It's using transitions for animation in, Oracle, in, in uh, JavaFX 2.0. So then the, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is, you know, if you can build a scene graph and you can do animations and you can do property binding, and if you can translate on the x-axis, then you can do things like, um, like this, where you can play with the x-axis. And um, what this does when it, when it comes up is it loads Google uh, map tiles and just kind of an exercise, I went ahead and tried to uh, take a cube, but then kind of uh, um, superimpose then the Google map tiles onto the earth. So there's a little stretching here that, that happens there, et cetera. Um, so this is you know, showing you how to, to catch the mouse events, that type of thing. Also, if I hit the space bar, we're going to fade out the map hit the space bar again, it'll fade in the map, but then it'll also do an animation which takes it back home. Um, uh, if I hit Alt and slide the mouse down, it's going to make it smaller, and then I'm gonna set it over here, and uh, Alt, make it bigger. And uh, hit Escape and make it go away. Um, so that's, uh, it was in my blog as a Java one, uh, FX 1.3 application, now it's a Java FX 2.0, and I'll be updating the, the code in the blog. Uh, some of the skills that it uses are the technologies as perspective camera and doing things on the, the Z axis. Um, this presentation is done in a technology called Grezi. Some, some of you may have heard of Prezi. Well, a guy named uh, <clears throat> uh, Bertrand, uh, Getzman created in Groovy and in Groovy FX this presentation engine that you see here that I'm using. And uh, so Groovy FX is a project that was created by Jim Clark and Dean Iverson, which has bindings for Groovy into Java FX uh, APIs, for, mo mostly for graphics, but then for property binding for other things. And then um, there's uh, Bertrand. And then um, if I look at, uh, let's go back a couple slides here to the, to the transition example. I'll just click on it here. This is actually a Groovy application. I ported the transition example to Groovy. So then you can just, you know, it's a Groovy uh, application that's embedded right into the, uh, the presentation. So the last slide then is resources. Some of you may remember this Emily Latella quote, some of the older people. Um, so what can you do? Well, you can download the JavaFX 2.0 beta at javafx.com. There's an application called Ensemble that, um, that Jasper Potts and, and Richard Baer wrote that, that comes with the beta. 
that you can use to, to see and then see code samples for, for different uh, things in the, in the API, et cetera. Um, other uh, other good, uh, good blog is the JavaFX Experience blog by some JavaFX engineers, uh, Jasper Potts, Richard Baer, and, jo and Jonathan Giles, Stephen Chin's blog, my blog, and uh, thank you for your attention. And sorry, Aaron, for giving you, putting you on the spot.